staring contest. Three, two, one, go. By accepting the staring contest challenge, you also accept the rules of if I win, you have to leave a like on today's video, but if I lose, I get to eat 12 cookies. There's a lot at stake here, guys. I really need all the likes I can get. My eyes are on fire. <laughs> They're actually starting to burn, dude. Okay, all right, it's fine. I'm gonna be okay. I've been training for years for this. Oh my God, keep my eyes open. I, don't, I know, I didn't blink. I, I didn't, I'm looking at myself. I'm looking, see, I'm, I did not blink. Oh no, 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 blink, blink. Stop, blink, blink. I'm trying to make you blink. I'm punching you in the face, just blink, bro. I really don't think I blinked yet. I, I possibly might be cheating. I don't really know, guys. Okay. Ah, it hurts. It hurts now. Final stretch right here. All right, this this is it. I'm ah uh, no no I did I don't think I blinked. I I may have blinked five times already. I don't really know. Oh jeez. Oh, ah okay. All right, fine. I blinked. Bessie, don't worry, okay? I may have blinked, but I'm 99% sure I won the challenge. This video is gonna get like 10,000 likes. Be sure to comment down below if you did win the staring contest challenge, and if you do have any other challenges you want me to do, just comment them down below as well. Bessie, let's see what you have for me today. It looks like there's a book called It's Dino Time. Now that you finally passed the dinosaur bar test, you can now start doing some experiments. I set up an entire mini lab for you inside. It's not as cool as mine, but it should get the job done. Make some dinosaurs love Bessie. So yeah, I may have forgot to mention, after we spawned in the dinosaurs a couple days ago, I basically became a dinosaur expert. I went to Jurassic World. It's an amazing place. I do want to go there for a video, but I pretty much learned how I can actually make my own dinosaur pet. The entire process is super scientific. I don't know if the science actually backs it by facts, but I think it does. I I'm just the only person that really knows how to do this. First things first, you're gonna just come across some Velociraptor fossils or any type of fossils that you want to make a dinosaur out of. Next up, you're gonna get some plaster and bandages so that you don't accidentally, you know, harm the fossils, make them crumble into dust. We need to make sure to preserve these bad boys. After that, just use your diamond pickaxe and we're gonna mine all of them up and then head inside. Uh, Bessie told me she has a mini lab in there for me. Bessie, I swear to the cookie monster, if you're lying, I'm stealing all your cookies. Oh, this looks perfect. I really don't know what this chalkboard is doing here though. Two plus two equals fish. Uh, okay, uh, the square root of uh, times a plus. I, I don't know what that is or what it equals. Is this supposed to be Rodney? Because it looks perfect. Well, these are all the machines that we're going to need today. There are an absolute poop ton of machines. We have embryonic calculifiers. We have embryonic machines. We have machines that make other machines, I'm pretty sure. So this should be a ton of fun. The first thing we're gonna need to do is clean out the fossils because we don't want any dirt, debris, bugs, or cookies in there. Even though cookies would be cool if we could make a cookie dinosaur, that would be legendary. Let's just plop these in there with a water bucket and they should slowly automatically just clean themselves. There's actually a super neat animation you could see. Oh yeah, definitely getting cleaned. It almost kind of looks like a planet is rotating in there. Boom, we got our first skulls. Oh, oh, we actually got a claw as well. So you're gonna get a ton of the fossils outside of, you know, all the dirt and scum and stone that come along with it. You'll just get the fossils by themselves. Now with those fossils, you're gonna need to grind them up for DNA. That is the most important part. The fossils, we really don't even care about it. We care about the stem cells on the inside that should hopefully still be activated. With this fossil grinder, we can actually figure out that there is some soft tissue inside of the fossils. You also have a chance of getting some bone meal and some flint. We really don't need that though. Next up comes the really confusing stuff that I really don't know how to do. Luckily, Bessie set this up for me. So we have a DNA sequencer where pretty much you can get any soft tissue. You're gonna just plop it in here which, with some storage disks and uh, you have a chance of getting an actual DNA strand of whatever dinosaur you're using. So here we have some uh, DNA quality of 40% of a Velociraptor. This one's 20%, 20%, absolute poop. The nice thing is this next machine makes it so that even if you don't get like a 90, 95, or 100% strand of DNA, you can combine them together to pretty much make your chances way higher of getting a dinosaur. So this should come out with a 95% DNA quality little tiny strand of a Velociraptor. 
I may have uh, done this a little bit earlier too, and I got myself a 100% uh, quality piece of Velociraptor DNA. I know, I know, I'm an absolute savage, what can I say? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but if we pop in the 100% quality inside the DNA synthesizer, we should eventually get, after some time here, I, it could take like uh, 10 minutes maybe, but once you put that in here with some DNA nucleotides and also a test tube, that test tube should be filled with the DNA of the Velociraptor along with some other DNA, which should activate it together, and then we should eventually get some live samples of a Velociraptor, you know, the, the, at least the, the cells of it, I think so. I just graduated dinosaur school, so my terminology could be a little bit off. Velociraptor DNA, boom. This is 100% perfect. Now we get into the fun stuff. Actually, there's a couple more machines before we get into the fun stuff. This is where we're actually gonna turn the DNA into something we can put inside of an egg, which is also considered an embryo. So as you can see, we have a syringe with a Petri dish. This will basically get our sample of the Velociraptor. And then last but not least, as you can see, we have a little tiny egg up there. We're gonna be uh, basically stabbing that egg with the Velociraptor syringe of DNA in order to make a Velociraptor egg. The last step is indeed pretty easy. I know that was a lot of scientific stuff. I don't even remember most of it, I'm not gonna lie. But the last step is to plop your egg inside this incubator machine. You'll see we actually have an egg in there from earlier that me and Bessie were testing. But we can plop in our other egg. You can make it really hot or cold, depending on if you want it to be like a female or a male. You also want to have some like peat moss in there as a nice bedding. So when they do eventually hatch, we'll have a nice little area. But ladies and gentlemen, we do indeed have a hatched Velociraptor egg. It turns out to be a female, so I'm going to need some name suggestions down below. I'm a little bit scared, guys. I've actually never had a dinosaur as a pet before, so this should be super interesting. I'm really curious to see what your guys' names are. And also, I'm not 100% sure if this will be my pet. Technically, I created this Velociraptor, but I don't know if it will like me or if it might try and bite my toes off. We might as well do it. Oh, hey, Rodney. Okay, you're gonna watch my back here. Do not steal this Velociraptor. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, oh, I have tamed the Velociraptor, dude, I think it's my pet. Out of all the pets I've gotten, this one could potentially be the coolest. As you guys probably know, if you're fans of the channel, I have a ton of dragons, I have a wolf pack, I have Bessie, Rodney, I have like brand new griffin pets over there. Well, this one is definitely the newest and also possibly the coolest. I didn't even know you could tame dinosaurs. Guys, please leave a like if I should do this again with different dinosaurs. I'm curious if I can tame, you know, giant Brachiosauruses, maybe Tyrannosaurus Rexes, some Microraptors, maybe even Pterodactyls. Just leave a like and comment what else I should try and tame in the comments below. Oh, Flip, Rodney, you were supposed to keep your eye on it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, uh, buddy? Hello? Hello? Oh, I, I see it. It looks like a tiny little snake. There's a wild bunny rabbit over there. I see it. Now, if I right click on you, Oh, I can make it follow me? No way, bro. No way. Come on, Mr. Velociraptor. Or Mrs. Velociraptor, I should say. Where'd that juicy little bunny go? Oh, we have a fake Bessie over here. Let's look at the job done. So if I punch his fake Bessie, where did Mrs. Velociraptor go? Come on, come on. Oh, yep. Oh, wait, I should probably feed you, right? Oh my gosh, that was such a creepy turn. I don't even know what do dinosaurs eat. I'm guessing live animals, or at least that's what I thought. But maybe it's too tiny to eat live animals? This thing is so cute, except the only thing is it is going to get massive and I may even be able to ride on its back. Velociraptor, please kill this fake Bessie or at least attack it. Show me that you can eat at least. Come on, come on up, Pip. Come on, bring it up. There you go. Nice and slow. It doesn't seem like it's the smartest animal. Bunny rabbit, no, 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 no. Stay, stay, stay still. Stop it. Okay, I need the Velociraptor to eat you. It's nothing against yourself. I just need my Velociraptor to grow and to be a, you know, a giant dinosaur. Don't you know how to run like a, you know, an actual dinosaur Velociraptor would? This thing just walks everywhere. Stop. Stop it, you sticky little bunny dude, stop running around. It actually looks like Bessie has some mobs that I can feed the little tiny Velociraptor. Come on, eat it. It's a juicy chicken. What are you doing? 
How about raw pork chop? Do you like to eat the raw stuff? I really can't tell, dude. This thing only has 10 health. It looks so tiny and fragile, and it won't eat any food. How about a cookie? Here you go. Everybody likes cookies. Every animal I've ever had, it will eat a cookie. Are you flipping kidding me? Oh, wait, it's coming back for the cookie. There you go. It's nice and juicy. It's, it's very nutritious. Uh, okay, it does not want the cookie. How about a giant porkers? Come on. Come on. This thing is, is juicy. It's giant. It has so much juicy meat on it. Please, just, I don't know, dude. I don't know what to do, guys. This thing will not eat, and they did not teach me in dinosaur school how to feed a baby velociraptor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna need your suggestions down below on how I can actually train this thing. Because it doesn't seem like it wants to eat anything. It doesn't seem like it wants to, you know, destroy a pig and maybe get a little bit bigger from all the nutrition the pig brings. No, it just doesn't want to do any of that. If you guys do have suggestions, though, just leave them in the comment section down below along with your name suggestion for our Mrs. Little Velociraptor here. That is gonna wrap it up though i hope you guys did enjoy leave a like if you did my name is beck bro jack i am now a dinosaur master and i will see you guys all back again here tomorrow for a brand new video peace out dude.